Good Tuesday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. I'm going to share lunch with y'all. This is actually my first meal of the day. This is what I usually do. It's just my first meal of the day is usually lunch. And so today for lunch, I'm going to cook some gourmet turkey burgers. So here we go. And what I'm going to, um, of course, these are my turkey burgers here. I got some uh, peppers and I've already pre sauteed some. Um, onion so what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and get my um excuse me i'm gonna get i got my this is i'm gonna fry them this is uh olive oil and butter that's how i'm cooking them so what I'm, i've done i sprinkled some everything but the kitchen sink seasoning on one side and i'm going to um you know, turkey meat for burgers, anyway. The meat is kind of soft. And I'm putting them on this side because I got a seat on the other side. And um, I didn't put anything on them. Well, I guess I might put a little seasoning on this side. I missed one. Yeah. I missed one. So anyway, I'm going to get these burgers going. Got five of them. Oh, no, I didn't put it on there. Realize it. Okay. These are butter bottle um, turkey burgers, and they're good, very tasty. Of course, very meaty. I think these are ninety, either eighty-five or ninety-three percent um, lean. So that's why I'm frying them in this uh, olive oil. And butter or smart start. Y'all know you smart start or butter. And that happens to be smart start. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle my seasoning. This is a sprinkle of black pepper on the other side. And I got some buns over here. I'm going to put these in the oven, toast them. I got my onions. I'm going to put them on the pan for a minute or two. Put those peppers on the pan for a minute or two. And I'm just going to put these burgers in the bun. If anybody wants to put anything else on there, they are quite welcome to do so. Um, this is my everything but the kitchen sink, as I call it, seasoning. There's not a lot of seasoning on there because we got um, the butter and we got the olive oil going on. So for the little salt content, this will suffice. We just want lots of flavor here, yeah, lots of flavor. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and hit them with uh, some garlic powder. No salt in here, so we can hit it with as much garlic powder as we want. And you know, we like a lot of garlic powder. I'm going to put some fresh garlic, of course. Y'all don't want to put fresh garlic on mine. I like tons of garlic. Tons of garlic. Probably so is good to you and for you. Okay. No, I need that. Oh, my onion powder is what I need next. My onion powder. And these are medium high heat. I don't want to cook them fast because I don't want my butter to burn or brown to do it. Get all that good old seasoning on there. Now, <clears throat> because I love of love, I Uh, this honey apple pepper. I'm gonna put it just this way. It has a little kick to it. Well, is it gonna come out? Might have to wake it up a little bit because I have it in my cabinet and it, you know, certain seasons you get a little moisture to it, it'll kind of cake on it. So if you can store it away from there, I don't have a lot of storage space in my kitchen. Okay, so I hope you all have been having a God blessed um, day so far. Today is Tuesday. Okay. Alrighty, I think I got all my seasons on. So we're going to go ahead now. Well, I need to do a little cleanup here, y'all. Excuse me, just a sec. Let me wipe 
away from the trail here. I know me and that I can't work too long with a clothes in the way. It's a distraction. If y'all been doing something like that, if you see crumbs or dirty dick or whatever, it's, it's a bit it's a distracting. It's distracting me very much. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these. I'm gonna flatten these out a little bit too. Sorry. Not to squeeze all the juice out, but to you know what I'm trying to do. Make sure they're done in five when we open up. So we don't want to cook them till they get uh, dry as the Mojave Desert either. Okay. I'm going to let that little stuff right there, that's it's called sangre. That's uh, when, when that blood or, or maybe it's plasma. I don't know if it's actually blood. But plasma, when it hits that heat, that's just what it does. Now I don't want to get rid of my... Um, I don't want to get rid of my uh, butter and oil. So I'm going to move this on out the way. It might have a little bit more to come out, but that's fine. And I, what I always do is just take it off. Just get it right off. Like so. Okay. So we're just going to let those continue to cook. they got to cook another five or six minutes. And hopefully they're going to be done inside it. That's why I don't like for the burger to be too, too thick. Because, you know, some people will eat that stuff a little bit rare inside. We don't do the rare. We don't do the rare for, for meat like this. No rare, no rare, no rare. Okay, so we're going to let those cook about five or six more minutes. I'm going to get this cleaned off of here. And we're going to come back. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on my pepper. Now, I didn't pre-cook uh, the pepper like I do onions. I did the onions really because they were thick. I cut them real thick. Uh, I decided I want these thick onions. Okay, that we can shoot it slow down. Trying to heat, get it crunk back up there. There we go. Get these burgers going, y'all. And I think this is just the right, you know, maybe a, maybe a fourth of an inch thick, or even my eighth of an inch is enough for me. Because I'm not, a, I'm, like I told y'all, I'm not real big on meat, especially if I like meat, I don't like it thick, unless it's a filet mignon. Now, I'll eat a thick filet because it has such a great flavor, and I'll use a little bit of uh, meaty bread as well. But other than that, cook my meat, because you know, um, those fillets taste better when they are a little bit thick. There's, there's just a flavor in there that you cannot get unless you have it thick. And also a um, prime rib, if cooked properly. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead, I got these peppers, I just cut them open. I'm just gonna put them right here and let them start cooking. Okay. And they're going to go right on top of our boiler. So this is how you, this is the making of a gourmet turkey burger. I'm going to heat down a little bit. I'm going to heat my peppers with a uh, little bit of seasoning. Remember, we gotta give everything their flavor and their seasoning. So when we put them on the burger, everything has got their own seasoning. Okay. Yummy, yeah, I mean, those are gonna be wonderful, y'all. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, these burgers did, they shrink a little bit, not too much, but they're good to go. So well, I hope everything is well in your neighborhood. We're doing well here. The weather is beautiful. This, this fall weather is nice and cool. I walked on the porch a minute ago, and it felt so wonderful. It felt just so inviting. I am just excited. And I, you know what? I had already said that fall started the 23rd of 
Oh, the sun will work at that time. Anyway, and I kept thinking to myself, boy, this shit is hot for it to still be, for it to be fall all through August. Through the end of August, anyway. And we were talking the other day and somebody mentioned it. Oh, first day of the spring. The spring of 23rd, I thought, ooh, it was out a whole month ahead. But anywho, it's beautiful now. We're enjoying this cooler weather. And thank you God for it, no matter what the weather is. We just have to remember to give God the glory uh, to be enjoying any kind of weather. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know exactly what I'm saying. So. Okay, we're going to let that continue to cook for a little bit, and we'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I've got the peppers and the onions on now, so we're just going to let those onions go ahead and brown up a little bit and let those peppers cook a little bit more, and we'll start putting these burgers together. Now, I love an egg on my burger, so I'm going to add an egg to mine up, just an um, over-easy egg on my burger. I'm going to throw these uh, buns in the oven for a few minutes and just let them heat up, not just necessarily to toast them, but to heat them up a little bit. <clears throat> so we shall return. Okay, these are my butter, garlic, and cheese sprinkle uh, buns. I'm going to throw them in the oven for a minute or two. Just to get that butter to melt and soften those rolls up. And then we're going to go ahead and put these uh, burgers. Okay, y'all, there's my eggs. It's going to be my over easy egg that's going to go on my burger. As soon as I get this bread out, I'm going to put these burgers together. And I'm going to have my lunch. And this is going to be it. I just want to come in and say, hey, love you. Thank you. Uh, always praying for you. Continue to pray without ceasing for everybody. Y'all, we're praying for the world still. Hang on, I'll be right back. Back, y'all. I'm getting ready now to put my burger together. Okay, let's get the, uh, got my egg is ready. Get me a source a plate here. Let me get my plate. This is my bread. That's my bread. Y'all see, I had y'all know I had to put me a, a little a chunk of hibachi on there. Turn that off. And I'm gonna get me some um, garlic going on there. And this is my already mixed. This is mustard. Ketchup and mayo, just put it on there. And I'm gonna grab, I want a small burger. The boy I'm gonna get me an onion. I'm gonna put my, well, I'm gonna put me some mayonnaise. Y'all know I have to have my mayonnaise. Hang on one second. I'm just doing this to so disorganized because I, I had no intention have the camera working while I was doing this. Just gonna show y'all how to put all these different fixings together. Okay, I'm just gonna spread me a little mayonnaise on there and then I'm gonna put my egg on. That egg on a burger is wonderful y'all. If you have not tried it, and if you like oh if you like it like over easy kind of runny a little bit, it's even better, y'all. Okay, let me get me one of these nice peppers going on. I think I got everything on. Oh, I got some lettuce and tomato over here. So I'm gonna put me a one tomato on there. And I just got some a uh, little bit of lettuce chopped up over here on the side. This is good. This is a full meal, as y'all can see. So there's my gourmet burger that I'm having for lunch today. So easy to make. So y'all hang on, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, one more time. There's my burger. I got it all dressed up with some pickles. That's some of that little special sauce on. That sauce is just ketchup, mustard, mayo, and a little dab of vinegar and some balsamic vinaigrette. Shake it up, and then you can use it on burgers. Anything It's a great, makes a great little sauce for burgers, uh, even hot dogs if you want to, or for 
beef, pork, whatever you want to use it on. Anywho, y'all, I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this burger. Thank y'all for just swinging by here for a few minutes while I talk about uh, this little gourmet lunch burger. And to tell y'all, or remind y'all rather, to continue to pray without ceasing. We are still praying, of course, for the world now. You know that. We're praying for the world. So we got to continue to pray without ceasing. Do what we can do to help anybody. Check on our elders, please. Please. That has got to be part of our worldwide thing to continue to check on our elders. Make sure they're okay and not falling prey to some of these scams. They're just doing well in, in whether they need help or not. We got elderly neighbors, you know, friends, relatives, whatever. Anywho, guys, pray without ceasing. Keep those prayers going up. No, so the blessings will continue to come down. And remember, get in the kitchen and cook yourself something good to eat. Enjoy this beautiful, cool fall weather. Until I come back again, toodles.